All right, Michael, it is great to see you here. And you've been so consistent on this theme and correct that the economy is slowing. But why do you see it getting worse from here instead of stabilizing or resetting at what's still a growing level? Sure. And uh, thanks for having me, Kelly. Uh, Kelly, uh, good to see you. Uh, the reason, you know, the, the business cycle is something that doesn't change over, over time. And the reason we have the ebb and flow of the cycle and we have recessions and recoveries is all about the cost of money and the cost of goods going up and down. So things like interest rates and oil prices are the most obvious um, drivers of the cycle. And we still, you know, have the Fed raising rates. We still have very high oil prices. Um, we still have now banks that are beginning to tighten lending standards. And so we're not even done with the tightening phase of the cycle. So you can't really begin to talk about the be beginning of the recovery until that's over. There's a long lead between changes in policy rates, changes in oil prices, and how long it takes to respond in, in, in the economy and in earnings and employment. And that's why you keep, hearing pe you keep hearing people say employment's still good. Well, yeah, it's a lagging indicator. It's going to take several more months before we begin to see the impact of what the Fed has done on employment. So there's a long road ahead. And history very much uh, suggest, you know, points that out with clarity. Let's talk about some of the stocks that you would both buy and sell here kind of on this um, point of view, because it, you're short a lot of the highly cyclical names, right? And some of the names like DuPont and Alcoa, even KKR and things like that. And then you're still long some names that people might be surprised to hear, like AutoZone, Dollar General, Costco, Northrop Grumman. Can you dig into that a little bit? Yeah. So, you know, in, there's two problems right now that the market's facing. One is getting incrementally better, which is inflation slowly, but it's getting incrementally better. And the other one's getting incrementally worse, which is the uh, odds of recession, earnings growth, and, and the speed of the economy. So what we want to be avoiding until we see a bottom in leading economic indicators, which again is not until next year, are stocks that are very sensitive to uh, macro data like the ISM or unemployment claims, or credit spreads. So the, stock, the four stocks you mentioned, DuPont, Alcoa, KKR, and Aptiv, are all, uh, they all have correlations of their relative performance of about 70 to 80% with the ISM. So if we think the ISM is going to continue falling for another year, which we very much do, uh, you're, you're swimming upstream from a macro perspective, owning those names. Uh, in addition to that, these companies in our uh, rank in our sell model so it's a combination of a bad macro environment for these types of names, and these companies have poor fundamentals according to our sell model. Um, on the long side of things, we just want the opposite. What, what, uh, what stocks have correlations that are negative to a slowing economy? In other words, we'll do better as the economy goes down uh, and have good fundamentals. So AutoZone, Dollar General, Costco, and Northworth Grumman are a few of the stocks that have counter-cyclical relative performance behavior and have the fundamentals that investors tend to gravitate towards in an economic downturn, such as high profitability and decent earnings growth.